Cloudy and cool evening for us here. I've been tracking a little bit of rain, but in most cases this stuff is evaporating before it reaches the ground. So the streets across central Texas continue to be generally dry, but the, the moisture is beginning to expand and aerial coverage across the area, not only to the east of us, but out to the west. So this is the lion's share of the stuff that we're anticipating to start moving into our area as we go through the evening hours. So it's going to get wet for us. Overcast skies, 30% chances of rain in the late night, probably after midnight or so. And it's going to be cool. It's already cool. 45 will be the overnight low. First thing tomorrow morning, it's going to feel like about 40. That's the wind chill we're anticipating with winds out of the north around 10 to 15 miles an hour. Tomorrow, rain. Periods of moderate to heavy rain at times, but for the most part, you're talking about drizzle. It's going to be cool and breezy with winds out of the north, 10 to 15 and gusty. We'll be lucky if we make it back up to around 52 for an afternoon high tomorrow. Today, 61 was a high in Hewitt. Our thanks to Kirk Krakow in for his report. The lamp passes. Joe Spivey saw 65 degrees and a Little River Academy, Wilson Valley, 72 the temperature there. <laughs> I think it's going to be wild before we see 72 again. Closer look at the radar and temperatures across the region. A little speckles and spreckles of moisture showing up, not only to the east of us, but beginning to increase out to the west as well. The frontal boundary is pushed through. We've got cold air down to the surface, but we also have an upper level disturbance that's rolling over on top of it, and that's sparking off more rain. It's producing snow in the high elevations of New Mexico, and it's moving towards us. The rain is going to be here after midnight tonight, spread across the region tomorrow. No snow this time around for you and me, though. 55 degrees now, 42% uh, relative humidity, and the frontal system drags all the way down towards the coast. Look at the rain beginning to move in. Here's your upper level system sweeping across our region. Once it goes on off to the east, then clearing skies rule in behind it, and we're left with some sunshine Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Next system comes our way close enough to start giving us rain on Sunday, and a little cool down again. So we kind of keep the sweater weather going for several days. Here's the Channel 6 seven day forecast where your weekend's always in view. 100% coverage of rain tomorrow, although we don't really anticipate a whole lot in accumulation. If you do get a little heavier downpour, <coughs> you might get three quarters of an inch of rain. You might hear a little thunder once in a while, but no severe weather is anticipated. We've got another party on the patio at Rudy's Barbecue in Waco on Thursday during the 5 and 6 o'clock news. Go to our website to get registered for your chance to win. High school football Friday night will feel like football season. I can tell you temperatures are going to be in the 40s in the morning, topping out at 65 Friday afternoon, and we're back down to the 50s by kickoff time. Saturday looks nice for the Veterans Day Parade. Y'all will be doing the play-by-play -play on that. The rest of us will be riding in it, I guess. Yeah. You're with the Sheriff's Posse this I'll year. I'll be out man. with the Sheriff's Posse, mounted and riding, and, and the rest of our crew will be in Humvees, I believe. Good I'm people. sure it'll yes. be something, yes. something, yeah, something like that. Yeah, pretty durable. <laughs> All right, Andy, thank you very much. We'll be right back right after this. Stay with us.